The clubs are closed, so we cannot perform. The DJs cannot perform or just live shows on Instagram for free. So they, they cannot pay their rent. The concert venues are closed. So bigger artists cannot do any shows. And because people have to stay far from each other, you cannot do a big festival where we, you would have like 10,000 people because that's too dangerous because then it would recreate a situation when we would have to go back to quarantine. So one of the groups that is the most screwed in the situation right now are the creatives. So some of them have economies. Some of them have a long career and some of them own their, their, their copyrights and stuff and they can make money from the streams. But a lot of them, and trust me, a lot of them have no visibility in the origin. A lot of them, they were going from show to show and a lot of them are, and, and, and I'm talking about like performers, but when I say performers, don't, don't forget that you have the people who, who sings in weddings don't have a job. The people who sing in, um, the people who sing in, um, in restaurants, they didn't have a job until the restaurant opened. What about the people who play keyboards, drums, guitar, percussions? What about the people who, who mix all the live shows? There's a ton of people who are being left out right now because when you talk to governments, they say, oh, the last thing we are interested in is, is all that. What we are interested in is saving the economy and uh, we don't care about your shows we don't care about your stuff so I, I i say it all the time i urge you i urge you to uh either donate to the artists that you like or if you cannot donate uh take a time to go and in a platform of your choice spotify apple music title whatever even YouTube and if you're on YouTube and there's an ad don't pass it and if if you can go on Spotify and just play the music play the music because this might uh, uh, save the, the, the careers of some of the artists that you like because people love to say they love the artists but then they don't support them and I think it is super 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 important that you guys Take the time to support the artists you love, especially the artists that you say, oh, they disappeared. We don't see them anywhere. Where are they, etc." Take the time to find them, find the music. Thank you, Matt, for always being a support. Uh, and make sure that whenever you can, you go and stream a ton of the music of the artists that you love and you support don't say that you support just because oh, i love you i support you no 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 support for real like and the way to support artists that you don't see anymore is sometimes to just play their music if you know we are in a in a, in a situation let me look at your comment uh un petit concert en France est possible pour 2021. Ça fait longtemps, c'est vrai. On va voir s'il existe encore des salles de concert en 2021. <laughs> also, yeah, there's no way the economy can recover right now. People are still scared to go back out there until we heard the virus is gone. We only go out for essential. Yep. The creative are always the forgotten. Always. <laughs> Proud. And I like, uh, is this where we should restart the conversation of diversification of income? Have another income, yeah. I've, having another income outside of doing shows, gigs, etc. I'm the king of that. 
the only way to survive crisis is to have a diversified income. You need to have this thing is you need to have at least nine, seven different types of income. If you are creative, you need to have income from your Instagram. How you make income from your Instagram? You go to, uh, if you have enough followers, there's a lot of brand who will pay you to wear something, for example, or to test a product. You can do that on Instagram. You need to have your own your YouTube channel. A lot of people like to put their music uh, in, 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 in big channels like, like My Kizomba, for example. It is great because it gives you uh, a, a better visibility. But then you need to also put it on your YouTube channel. Or if you want to just leave it there to have all your views concentrated in one place, then make sure that every time you do a show, you film it with a, with a phone. I filmed a lot of my shows on the iPhone and then you upload on on youtube on your channel and then people can watch the replay and this you can monetize once you have a thousand subscribers i think and ten thousand ten thousand views i think then you can try to 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 be part of the monetization program uh my is on but correct me if i'm wrong about the numbers um uh, and uh that's the way you can monetize. Uh, when you are making money from your shows, try to invest that money in maybe buying a camera. With 300, 400, you can have a camera so you can shoot your music videos by yourself instead of spending that money. Once you shoot your music videos by yourself, then you can put them on your YouTube channel. Even if you don't shoot music videos, uh, for example, why we're in the pandemic, uh, everybody could take a guitar, put their camera on a tripod like I'm doing here and just have a guitar and sing some songs instead of doing them on Instagram you could do put them on your YouTube channel if your YouTube channel is monetized boom you can get a little bit of of a, of, of a something uh, you can of course uh, own your songs if you own your songs every time people stream your songs you make a hundred percent of the revenue uh, how of course shows uh, but right now this is over uh you can even do shows online if you have enough fans that support you even if you do a show for for five euros all you need is 20 people to have 100 euros 200 people to have a thousand euros but if even if you have 20 people who pay you five to watch you sing online if those 20 people come every day and they pay you five you can you can use the youtube um on the youtube you have the super chat or you can have a a, a donation link like i have where you people just scan the link with their phone like this and it will take them to a website we see a scan and it takes you to a website where you can yeah, when you can offer some money uh Oh, it's a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch video. See, it's even easier than ten thousand. And so you have so many ways that you can uh, make money from your assets, and you have to always diversify those ways because you never know. And actually, I know a lot of artists that are mocked because. Uh, in the weekends they perform in clubs but the rest of the week they drive a bus or uh or they are uh, or they, they are in a plane uh serving passengers or they work in a restaurant or they work in a shop and then they are part-time artists and a lot of the so-called real artists they were mocking them because they were like yeah you don't have enough money to, to do it like like us who are we the real ones etc etc uh, a lot of them were laughing at the small artists who cannot live from their job 
for, for from their art because they also work at McDonald's or they, they and now all these big artists they're crying they're crying because while they don't have show anymore and they don't make any money the ones who were driving a bus still drive a bus so that's a lesson what's happening right now in the world is a lesson of humility <laughs>